Resurrection Man number four, written by Dan Abnett and Andy Lanning, art by Fernando Dagnino. Left off last issue with the body doubles, finally sedating Mitch, having him cuffed and ready to go. And the transhuman showing up and ready to take out the body doubles. This issue picks up with just the fight scene. It is the body doubles going up against transhuman. They're firing off their guns and it's just not landing at all. And then we, transhuman just exposits who he is. Uh, the old man that you see, he went and put on the suit he used to wear for work. Now he's a transhuman, and he's got bioseg ballistic shields. Okay, so anyway, the bi was like, ah, man, this sucks. So they start loading in some special rounds, but transhuman fires off some lasers. Takes out one of them named Bonnie. I gotta be honest, I don't have their names memorized. They're just the body doubles in general. So they're like, wow, what? he's... he's He's basically in all. He's like, wow, where did you guys get tech like that? And he's like, I could ask you guys the same question. What do you got? Cyborg kit going on? Some some enhanced styles? I think they're just making up words here. And apparently he's transhuman. He's gene bonded symborg upgrades. Sure. He's he's got something going on. And he says he's transhuman. He's he's Whatever that means. So what are you guys? Because you're not human either. And they're like, oh, we're post-human. We're so much far beyond your crude junk. And he, she comes up. She punches transhuman and knocks him all the way out of the building. They continue their fight scene. He's pissed off that they broke his helmet. Uh, meanwhile, Bonnie gets back up, walks over to Mitch, sees that he's still out. He's like, all right, I'm just going to call this in. It's like, yeah, 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 we got, we got Mitch, but... Um, there's a third party involved. Things are getting hairy. We, we just need to get out of here. And there's some, like, it's too messy. It's too risky to involve the, what was it, the matter hammer. So we're just going to do this the old-fashioned way and get him out by, like, a car or something. So as as she's getting all the old people who have gathered around a shoe, um, Mitch gets up, grabs Bonnie by the throat, and it's like, hey, your drugs wore off, and I've still got my supersonic scream. So you're going to tell me everything I want to know. And she's like, oh, yeah, like you don't know who we are. And he's like, pretend I don't. And he's like, man, I used to respect you. You used to be cool. Why are you playing games? And she's like, I'm not. And he's like, wait, why are you pretending you don't know? And he's like, I'm not. And he's like, oh, wow, you're serious. You don't know who we are. Okay. Um, well, if you want to know, you can just come with us. And she's like, you, you were just trying to kill me. And he's like, yeah, you've been like running away from us from a long time and we figured that the only way to take you in is by killing you like it gives us at least a little bit of a reprieve but like you taught us pretty much like we learned who, who everything we learned from you so i promise you if you just come with us there will be no more violence answers to everything got it and he's like okay all right sounds good but we got to stop your friend from killing daryl He's like, yeah, that's, that sounds like a good idea. So then they run over the fight scene. He's like, hey, 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 everyone, everyone, stop, stop. I'm going with these two voluntarily. And they break it up for a second, but they're still bad-mouthing each other. He's like, I could kill you, old man. Oh, you can keep trying, though I like that you don't quit. I also like that ass doesn't quit. And she's like, oh, you son of a bitch. But anyway, they call back in, and he's like, yeah, uh, yeah, we got him. He's coming in voluntarily, so um, send the car, I guess. And... We cut over to the person that she's talking to, and it's this dude who's, like, just a zombie. He's just a zombie. He's got an exposed brain. He's got, like, flesh tearing. Like, he's just a zombie. But he's apparently also Director Hooker. So, yeah. So, anyway, Daryl's like, are you serious? You're going along with these two? You don't even know him. He's like, I don't know you either. He's like, I told you I was a supervillain. So, I was up front. By the way, I could really use your help. Because I'm not actually an old dude in a suit. I'm 19. This suit is draining my life force. And I could really use some help here. That's why I made friends with your dad, Mitch. And Mitch is like, okay, uh, Daryl's coming with us. And the body was like, no, absolutely not. Non-negotiable. And at that moment, the angel from the earlier issue shows up. And she's like, Psh, everything's negotiable. And it's like, ah, crap, it's her. This is about to get to an entirely new level of crazy. And she's like, oh, no, no, no. I'm just here to collect you, nothing else. And he's like, well, you're not going to collect me. They're already collecting me. And it's like, oh, no, no. I am going to collect you. Everything's negotiable. 
and goes over and just like explains like, oh, like this guy who's given up his life force in order to get some power. Or these guys who have done God knows what to their bodies in order to become sociopathic military collectors or whatever. Or you, who literally is give, able to skip death and has built up such a debt in heaven and hell that I'm the one who's sent to collect. And so Mitch just lets out a supersonic scream and he's like, she's like, okay, yeah, all right, that hurt. Um, don't do that again. And he does it again. He's like, all right, stop it. You're pissing me off now. And he screams again. And she unleashes some level of hellfire or angel dust or whatever you want to call it and literally disintegrates the Resurrection Man, literally disintegrates Mitch Shelley. And he's like, oops, I think I might have just killed the unkillable. That's going to be some paperwork. And that's where we leave off. I still like this book. I still really do. I never thought I would, but this is, it's got a good story here. It's really laying out like, okay, we're getting some answers, maybe, eventually. Like, he's supposed to go get answers with the body doubles, but that doesn't seem to work. And then Daryl is a 19-year-old who's having his life force. Like, it's just throwing up so many things of like, okay, well, now this thing happened, but it's done in a way that feels genuine and is fun. That's the thing. It's fun. I'm having fun with this book. Um, the art is also fantastic. I have nothing bad to say about that at all. Uh, Fernando Dagnino does a fantastic job. So I'm going to give this one a 7.5. It's only getting better over time. I mean, I say that. I can't remember what I scored the previous ones, but it feels like it's only getting better over time. And I'm looking forward to see how this does resolve. I'm sure it doesn't feel like the sort of thing that once the arc is done that all the loose ends are going to be tied up. But I want to see, like, what loose ends do get tied up, you know? What are the mysteries that are going to be the long-term ones and which ones are going to be the, okay, we're wrapping that up for now. And I'm just, yeah, I'm just looking forward to the next issue in general. Mm -hmm.